Hello friends, this is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I am so happy to be here with you. Um, we have got some new products I want to show. I grabbed these from Honeybee Stamps. Um, I love these layering dies and I really just wanted to make some fun cards with them. So I'm going to make one with you today, but first we're going to show you products. So I've got um, a die set that I missed grabbing when I got my... Um, one of my other stamp sets. And then also, check this out. I got my Alta New Cozy and Comfort Retreat Box. So this retreat I'm super excited about and I wanted to show you all the stuff that's in it. So there's a pair of tweezers and there's this super cute stamp set with dies. So here's the thing. All this is exclusive to the retreat is what my understanding is. So I don't know if it's too late to purchase a retreat box. I'm assuming it is, but it could not be. I don't know. You would just have to go to the Alta New website and check. But this is all the stuff that came in the box. So to attend the retreat was $300. However, um, I used my friend Kelly Taylor's discount code. So I got $50 off the retreat. And there is definitely more than $250 worth of product in this box. Um, this one I'm the most excited about, I think, because we have a wood stove in our house and I love this embossing folder. I love, I really love most of the stuff that's in this. Um, and so those are just card bases. This is a cool stamp set that's like layering stamps. Um, and it comes with like a fold out. I'm going to show it to you. It comes with this. Real, this is one of the things I'm kind of like loving about Alta New and Honeybee Stamps kind of has something similar. So Alta New, look at this. It shows you all the colors to stamp in. It gives you examples. And then there are free cards right there. You can like cut apart and just put them together. So I thought that was really cool. There's this really cool window um, scene there's this that goes with that other layering set then this is a sweater pattern stencil set super super cute and then i got another low tech sticky mat and i was thinking about like selling that or giving it away or something since i have one but then i thought you know what you better keep it because as much as i use the one i have <laughs> there's a good chance i could use a backup so that was all the stuff that came in my cozy comfort retreat box so I wanted to bring this stuff back and just show you really fast the layering dies. So those guides that um, Honey Bee gives you are super handy. So I was able to lay all my dies out and then cut each piece kind of coordinating with the color that seemed right. And I used all Stampin' Up! card stocks here. So I used Crumb Cake, Misty Moonlight, um, gray granite, smoky slate, and basic black. And then I'm bringing in my um, low tack mat from Alta New, and I've got pecan pie uh, ink, and I'm going to use my Rabbit Hole Designs little blending brush. I can't remember what those are called. You know, every single company has their own little special name for their blenders. So I really love these little blending brushes from Rabbit Hole because they're tiny. So they're perfect for something like this. And as you can see, this sticky mat is like a game changer. I didn't have to put grid paper down. I didn't have to put like, I didn't have to do anything to hold this in place. And then the mat just wipes off. Does it stain? Yes, it stains. As you can see, it's stained. But I don't care. It's not even a big deal. So um, now I'm going to go into my Misty Moonlight one and do some ink blending on it. And I'm still looking at the guide that came with the dies and following that. So I, I personally feel like it's genius for Honeybee to provide those guides because one of the number one things I think people struggle with when they get like a layering die set is what pieces are what and how they're supposed to layer together. And when you have a guide that shows you that information, it literally is just... <laughs> It's huge. It's a game changer. It's just like, okay, well, I could totally make a bunch of these now because I understand how they go together. So on each piece, I just took the time to do a little bit of um, uh, 
what do you call it, ink blending with the colors. Same, well, that's not true. I was going to say with the same colors, but that's not really true. I actually used uh, pecan pie over the crumb cake and because I wanted there to be like a gradient with that. So anyway, um, and then I'm just layering all of the pieces on using tweezers and my precision glue press. Now, when I first started using my precision glue press, I'm going to say it never clogged. Now, on occasion, I do have, you saw there at the, at the beginning, I had just a little moment where it was like clogging. And I think that's because of lack of use. So I know many of you have noticed I've been like missing in action, a little MIA happening over here. And we'll get into that here in the video later. But what I have noticed is if your glue press sits for like two weeks or six days, it will get a little bit jammed up. But all you have to do is take the lid of the glue, poke it in, and it's bam, good as new. Like works perfect. So, and then I always clean the tip of it off before I set it back in its stand. That's just one other little step I do. Here I'm using the pecan pie to just add a little bit of shading and darken up um, this cardstock. I had scraps of the crumb cake out, so I just used it, but you could just cut it in pecan pie or whatever color. I used early espresso for um, this quail's legs and then did some shading with pecan pie for the little butt ruffles That's or leg ruffles. That's what I'm gonna call them. And this little quail is all finished. Isn't he beautiful? He's just stunning. So here I cut a scallop contour die and then I splattered it with pecan pie and misty moonlight. And honestly, I was just in the groove and totally forgot to turn my video camera on. <laughs> so you missed seeing that. So I'm just showing you here the pieces that I used to do that. And then we're going to build this card. This card is super simple, except for, well, even the layering of the quail was simple because I was able to follow that guide. Um, are cards that use layering dies time consuming? Yes. Are they worth it? You betcha. You'll see here with this finished one. Um, it's just beautiful. And you really don't need a lot of other elements because all that little detailed paper piecing is just stunning. So it kind of removes having to come up with a bunch of ideas or think about anything else because here you can see I took basic white thick cardstock, made an A2 size um, card base. I took the scallop layer dies, cut out one of those uh, contour dies, and then I splattered it. And now I'm going to wrap with linen thread around the card base so that I have just some sort of texture and interest in the background, which I think is just going to add something really, really cool to this card. And then I will layer that scallop contour die on top with Stampin' Dimensionals. And then we are going to add the quail and add a sentiment. So um, here I just wanted to show, I do want to point out, I'm wrapping this linen thread around three times to create just kind of that fun look. I'm not a big ribbon person, but I really like thread, like twines and threads. So... Um, here I just wanted, and, and, and the thing is linen thread kind of has that organic earthy look and feel, which goes with the quail. So you might be asking what, what's the deal with the quail? Well, the deal with the quail is I have somebody in my life who I love very, very, very much who loves quail. So, um, I, when I saw this die set, I was like, oh, I have to have that. Like there's no, no exceptions. I have to have it. And, um, so I purchased it specifically for that person with that person in mind. So what's been going on? You're like, where have you been? What is happening? Well, you all know I got sick, right? Like I got sick. It wasn't that big of a deal. I was sick for like a week and a half. Well, that's not even true. I was sick, sick for like four days, but the coughing and sniffling and all of that just hung on. You know how that is. So I could just, it was like I just couldn't get to the point where I felt totally back to normal. And then 
the coughing and sniffling was making it really troublesome to voice over or anything like that. So, and I'll be honest, it's been like two and a half weeks and there is tiny, teeny, tiny, tiny remnants of it still. Like, and well, I should say it could totally be fall allergies. I don't know. But um, at this point, but anyway, so here is the base of where, where we're going. And then we're going to add the quail right here. And then we're going to add the sentiment. And the sentiment stamp set that I got and that I'm using for this card, I absolutely love. It is that set that says, like it has, God is my refuge, praying for you, um, country roads take me home, love you to the barn and back. I mean, so many of these sentiments are like, yes, that is exactly what I want, what I need, I love. So it's one of my very favorite sets. And that one's from Honeybee Stamps. So I'm not an affiliate with them. I'm not on their design team, although aspirations, of course, I would like to be. Um, so someday, maybe, I would love to work for Honeybee Stamps because I think they're phenomenal. Um, so anyway, uh, back to the card. <clears throat> so I'm going to add all these dimensionals on the back of this little quail and add it to the front. Okay. Story time. We have lots of time for story time today. I thought about, I could have edited this video down to like a 10 minute video, but I know I have missed all of you so much and I'm like, these people deserve a longer video with an explanation. <laughs> so anyway, I got sick. Then, um, we had some stuff happen and I'm just going to leave it at that. So, um, I'm not going to go into any details or anything. And I don't mean to be that person that like leaves you on some cliffhanger. It's not in my intention, but it is extremely private matter. And, um, I'll, all I can say to you is we're on the other side of it and everybody in my family's fine. There's, you know, nothing to worry about, nothing to be concerned about, but there was just a little blip in life and we had to deal with that. And so, um, that kind of was chaotic. And then, uh, let me bring you up to current day. Okay. So today, oh, let's start with yesterday. Yesterday, um, my washing machine died. It decided to quit on us. I like I knew it was coming, first of all. I'm the one that does 99% of the laundry in this house. And I I could just tell, you know, when you just know, cause like it would react slower. Occasionally it would be left with like bubbles or water in the bottom and I'd have to run it again. Like that's been going on for a few months. So uh, finally, by the way, this stamp set is called It Is Well. If you wanna go to Honeybee Stamps and search for this stamp set, you can, search for it. It's, it is well, and it does have coordinating dyes. So, um, I kind of knew it was coming, but yesterday it totally took a poo, like it was done. So my washing machine went home to be with Jesus and I was like, well, this isn't going to do because we, we have to wash clothes in this house. So that happened. So then the other thing that happened <laughs> is over the course of the last couple, you can't even make this up. Over the last couple of days, our internet has been really weird. In fact, I was on a call with some of my lovely leaders and my internet kept glitching out. And I was like, what is the problem? Like I couldn't figure out why this was happening. So I go in my daughter's room yesterday, as yesterday evening, to look at the modem because the modem happened to be in her room because that used to be my office. So I go in there and I'm like looking at it and she's like, oh yeah, that cord is messed up. And I'm like, wait, what? So I look at the back of the modem and literally you guys, it looks like she ripped the cord out, uh, out of the back of the modem, the, the, the coax cable or the whatever that cable the ethernet cable whatever that cable is that runs under your house and like is the the lifeline of the modem and I'm like how what how 
why didn't you say anything? And she was like, I don't know. I've just been putting it back in there. So it's literally ripped out and all that's sticking out is the little needly part. <laughs> and she's just been like sticking it back into the, um, by the way, I don't know what in the world I'm doing right now while there's like all these minutes passing on the screen of me doing nothing. I probably should have edited this part out. I thought I actually did uh, edit this part out. Oh my word, I need to check on this. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys, I 100% paused the video, went and deleted like nine full minutes of footage of literally just you staring at my screen with that card and that sentiment set. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, I was wondering like, why is this video so long? Anyway, I digress. Back to this discussion. So I go to look at all this. It's all a wonky, crazy mess. BTW, do you notice now I have on no nail polish and I started the video with nail polish? That's how long it took me to get this video done. <laughs> so anyway, um, gotta love the Misty. Oh, I just love the Misty. I, if you want this black one, um, they have some of these in stock right now. You can purchase it at the Misty shop and I will link to it below the video. It's also, all the products will be linked over on my blog. I am not an affiliate with anybody except Misty, just so you know. So I don't really make any money off anyone else. But um, anyway, the, the product will still be linked. I'm just not earning off of it. So anyway, um, back to what I was saying is bottom line, the cable was so messed up that I'm like, well, we're going to have to call a technician. So I spend a half an hour on the phone just trying to get hold of Comcast and actually speak to a human because they want you to push all the buttons and use their like automated service and reboot your mode. And I'm like, people, rebooting my modem is not going to fix this issue. Okay? It's not. So um, finally I get a hold of a guy who was super nice. And after he gave me his sales pitch of why I need to change my plan with Comcast, Finally, we got everything set up. So the cable people are supposed to be here today, actually in eight minutes at the time I'm recording this. Um, however, I know that they're not going to show up at that time because A, they haven't called or text and B, do they ever show up when they say they're going to show up? No, they don't. I'm just praying they actually come today. So um, anyway, yeah, that's what's been going on. And then... The washing machine broke and then so we had the cable the washing machine my headlight went out on my car I needed to take it in I mean it's just like you know you know how that is that's life it just it's like when it happens it happens all at once and then everything will be blissful for you know six months and then something else will happen it's just how it is so I used the stamp praying for you uh, or the sentiment praying for you. And then I grabbed these cute little embellishments that are kind of like pecan pie-ish. I don't know if that's actually the color they are, but they look it like it. And I thought they would go well on here. And that is my finished card. Isn't that cute? So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm sorry I have been absent. I promise I'm doing my very, very best to get caught back up and get you many, many videos to come and I will see you in the next video, friend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.